Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to relock the bootloader, unroot, and load stock recovery for the LG Google Nexus 5 phone. Uh, so before we begin, I just want to say that all credits and props goes to Wugfresh on XDA Developers. I'm going to put a link to this forum page in the video description to simply expand it. You'll find a link to this page. Um, on this page, what I suggest you do is log in, hit the thanks button for, you know, Wugfresh's work. Better yet, donate to them for all their hard work. Uh, this page is also where you should be asking for technical uh, questions help. Um, I'm not a developer, so if you ask me any technical questions, I most likely won't respond because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how to help you. So ask in this forum. And most importantly, this is where you're going to find a link to the downloadable links. So you're going to go down the first pay, uh, for thread, rather, the first pay, uh, post. Look for something like download links. Click it. It should open this page. If for any reason you're on the wrong page on this website, just simply clang, uh, sorry, click Nexus Rule Toolkit. Sorry. Um, you're going to scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a, a bunch of other supported Nexus devices, which I believe is all of them except for the Nexus one. Scroll down a bit more, and whoops, you're going to look for download. Download the first file, if it doesn't work, you use one of the mirror links. So again, download the program, install it, and just keep in mind that everything on your device will be wiped. Everything. So your pictures, videos, and music, I suggest you back it up onto a computer or something. Um, everything will be gone. In case you might want to root your device in the future and you want to back up your apps as they are, I'll put links to um, videos in which I teach you how to back up your um, apps and all the other stuff. But for now, let's continue. Uh, I just want to mention that your device should be modded in the first place because you're doing this, but you're going to be modifying it again. Uh, and so you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility. So we find instructions in this video at your own risk. Right, so you want to make sure that you can, your cell phone is in USB debugging mode, so you can go to system settings, tap about phone, and in case you don't have developer options here, you're going to go to about phone, sorry, and keep tapping the bill number, you should get a countdown, eventually press back, and you should see developer options, open it, make sure it's on, go to USB debugging, check mark it, press OK, and just simply plug it into your computer with your USB cord that came out of the box. Right, so after you're done plugging it in, uh, what's going to happen is if you're if you've just installed this program for the first time, okay, I'm going to close this. We don't do that. If you're on this program which you just downloaded and installed for the first time, uh, when you open it, it'll ask you to select your devices. Um, select your device and to find your build number, what you're going to do is go to the system settings of your phone. Just keep it plugged in. It should still be plugged in in developer uh, USB debugging mode, and go to about phone. And here at the bottom, there you see your bill number. Okay, so your phone is Nexus 5 and your bill number is listed here. Easy, right? Uh, so once that's done, remember, if this is the very first time you're ever running it on your computer, then it might say, hey, I gotta download a couple of files. Download them. Eventually, this screen should be here. If for any reason you have to change your bill number or your selected device, just go to change. And they are here. Again, you'll see this and you can just change your bill number or the device you're modifying or unmodifying. So what we want to basically do is before uh, we relock the bootloader, it actually tells you you can't. Uh, you have to actually flash uh, stock first. So what you need to do is go to flash stock. But you'll notice that there's two options here. One is if you're a soft brick or if you're in a boot loop, which basically means your device isn't really starting or it keeps rebooting on its own. Uh, then you'll select the top one. My device is running normally, so I'm going to check mark devices on and normal. Then you're going to click flash stock and unroot. It's telling you that everything will be completely wiped. And uh, in order to make this work, your device must have an unlocked bootloader. If, if it doesn't, don't use this method, okay? Press OK. And what you're going to do is select your correct information. Um, I'm running Hammerhead, which I believe is the code name for the Nexus 5. I'm running build number KRT16M, which I told you how to find out. And I'm going to select already, sorry, automatically download and extract factory images. Okay, so after it downloaded, it's giving you a warning that everything will be wiped. Just press OK to continue, and uh, we'll wait for this to finish up. Okay, so when this screen came up, um, it took a very long time on uh, one part called writing system, almost a minute, and uh, it, it, it gives you kind of timestamps here, but it took a little while. It's basically telling you that it's now got um, a fresh version of Android, um, and it's going to keep boot looping for a little bit. It may take a five to ten minutes to start up, and not only that, if you want to continue um, 
with anything further, which I want to do because I want to relock the bootloader, you must put it back into USB debugging mode. So it's going to take a little bit of a while uh, to start up, so we'll continue when it's done. Okay, so uh, when the device finished booting up, um, when that screen was here, it just said press any key to continue. So I did, and it closed it, and you should have this still open though. Um, the device, you don't have to unplug it, you shouldn't have to, but what you want to do is uh, make sure you have USB debugging. Let's go to system settings, about phone. Go down to build number, keep tapping until the countdown's done, then press back. Go to developer options. It should be on by default, make sure it's on. Then go to USB debugging, press OK. I uh, just want to see if. Oh, nuts. I. Ah, uh, okay. You have to make sure that uh, you press OK on that screen. I just missed it because um, I kept tapping the screen, so I'm going to plug it back in. Uh, I'm going to show you right now what I'm exactly I'm talking about. This. Y you must make sure that this is here, okay? Press always allow from this computer, and then press OK. It's imperative that this shows up. If it doesn't, this program will not respond and do anything, okay? So that's why I replugged it in, because uh, I lost this. I'm just going to press OK. Uh, what I was doing, touching the screen, is that I noticed that I don't have super user. It's gone, so I have no root access. But I want to relock the bootloader. Uh, so I'm going to continue on further with USB debugging mode on. Uh, so here, now I'm going to do is OEM lock, okay? Uh, before you can do this, it's basically telling you that you have to flash stock on root, which we already did. So I'm just going to press OK. OK, uh, so you'll notice after pressing OEM lock while your device is in boot uh, ADB debugging mode, it just says your device should not be relocked. Let's check. And as you can see, status, oops, lock state locked. Uh, and it's saying that when you restart the device, um, it should say that there's no longer a padlock there. Uh, press OK, rebooting the device, and now let's see if we can find a padlock. See, the padlock is gone now. So, that means I have lost root, I have stock recovery, and I have relocked the bootloader. So, the device is completely back to its state as if it just came out of the box from wherever you purchased it from. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video useful. If, if you did, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.